Lab 63 is comparing OWASP dependency check against retired at JS. Specifically, it wants to know how come dependency check can find some issues when retired at JS doesn't notice them. So we'll just contrast the two tools. First of all, we notice that retired at JS finds jQuery 1.8.3 has an issue, or several issues in this case. Let's go run dependency check. It's worth noting that I downloaded dependency check from the OWASP.org website. Specifically, I used the command line download, which is a zip file, and unzipped it into the opt directory. Need any help installing dependency check? There's a video on this same channel that you can watch that shows you step-by-step -step how to get it installed. We're gonna change into the dependency check folder and then go into the bin directory. Inside of there, we'll find the shell script to run the project. There's a few different options you can see uh, using the dash H options, and that'll show you the scan option, the project option. Also, there's a format and an output option that can be helpful. We're gonna use those. So we're gonna start off with a sudo and then the name of the script. We're gonna send the report out to the temp directory and we're gonna format it as HTML to make it easy to read in a browser. Then we'll specify which directory we're gonna scan. That's gonna be the source code directory, SVAR, WW, and Matilda in this case. And I like to give the report a title. You can do that with the project option. When we run dependency check, one of the things that dependency check will do is go out to the internet and download all the latest vulnerabilities. And if you haven't run the project at all or in a while, this is gonna take a while, possibly more than five minutes. Since I've run the project recently, the database is already built and it went ahead and assessed the source code in that directory recursively and came up with a report, found all kinds of issues with different jQuery. You can already see it found more than retire.js did. And that's easy to explain. Dependency check is scanning the source code directly. It can view the source code and go through each individual file one by one. Retire.js is only looking at the vulnerabilities that are on the page that's currently loaded in the browser, literally just the client side code. And it's only gonna notice the library if that client side code loads that particular library. A lot of libraries are server side, they never get used on the client side at all. And sometimes libraries are in other pages that you're not viewing right now, but may not necessarily be called upon by the current page. So that's the reason that retire.js may or may not notice as much as dependency check. Now to view the actual report in dependency check, you can open it up in a browser. So in our case, because we put the report in the temp directory, I went to file colon slash 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 temp slash dependency check report dot html. And the report will basically tell you the same that it found not only the jQuery issue, but there's also another use of jQuery, jQuery.min.js, which is only version 1.3, even older than the 1.8 version found by retire.js. If we click on the link, it'll take us down inside the report and start showing us all the different problems with that particular library. But again, the reason that dependency check is able to find more issues is that it has more access. It can look at every single source code file, not just the client side that happens to be loaded in the browser at the moment. So we pick the first option and that's the correct answer.